What's going on everyone, my name is Coder Moore, and welcome to the third episode in the New Beginner Java Game Programming Tutorial Series. In this tutorial, we're going to work a little bit more with our display. So before we get started, I am going to make videos much more often, and they're going to be of much higher quality in just a few days. So by tutorial 6, everything should be much better, I'll have n a new computer, so hopefully I'll be able to get things out much faster and make them properly, because right now my computer can barely handle recording. Anyways, to today's tutorial. Today's tutorial, we have a window. So if you run the test code that we had in the last tutorial, we got our JFrame displayed to the screen. It's got a title, everything works perfectly. But there's one big problem. There's no graphics in it. And if we want to have a game, we need some way to display graphics to display images to the screen. So today, we're going to add something to this JFrame that will allow us to see images. That way, we can eventually have a game that has graphics. So how do we get images into a JFrame? Well, we use something called a canvas. So create a private canvas element called canvas, and when you import it, make sure you import java.awt canvas. There we go. Now, a canvas basically allows us to draw graphics to it. So we're going to draw all of our images, such as our player image, our tile images, all of that. We're going to draw all those images to this canvas element right here. Then we're going to add this canvas element to our JFrame. That way we're able to see it. I hope that makes sense. And I'm going to give you guys a quick analogy to hopefully make some of you understand this a little bit better. If this doesn't help you, that's fine. So in real life, a painter will paint his images, his painting, on a canvas. Well, in Java, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to paint all of our, or draw all of our images to this canvas object. Then, in real life, when a painter has finished a painting, he will put it in a frame and display it to the world for it, the world to see. Well, in Java, we'll do the same thing. We'll draw all of our graphics to the canvas element, then we'll add it to the JFrame, that way we're able to see it on the screen. Hopefully that makes sense now. So we draw images to the canvas, and then we display the canvas using the JFrame. So let's go ahead and initialize that. Canvas equals a new canvas. And we also have to set the size of our canvas, so canvas.set preferred size, and canvas doesn't just take in a width and height as parameters. It takes in a new dimension object, and that takes in a width and height. And that's just the way canvases were created. So that will set the preferred size of our canvas, the size that we want our canvas to be, which is the width and height of our game. We're going to copy this line down two more times, and instead of set preferred size, we're going to do set maximum size, and we're going to do set minimum size. This is to make sure that our canvas will always stay at the width and height that we give it. So we set the size we want it to be to width and height, then we set the maximum and minimum size of it to width and height. This will make sure it stays at the width and height that we give it. So we initialize our canvas, we set the size of it, now we have to actually add it to our JFrame. Frame.add canvas. It's as simple as that. Then at the end we have to do frame.pack. And frame.pack will basically resize our window a little bit, that way we're able to see the canvas fully. If you don't have frame.pack, everything will still work, but you might not see all of the canvas. So there we go. We have just added a canvas with the size that we give it to our JFrame, to our window. So if you run the test code that we created in the last tutorial, we'll get our window displayed to the screen, everything's the same, and that's a problem. Everything is the same. Well, we added our canvas, but there's nothing within our window. And that's because we haven't actually drawn anything to the canvas yet. We haven't told the canvas to draw anything to our JFrame. Sadly, we can't draw anything just yet because we have much more preparation before we can do that, but I just wanted to get that done in this tutorial. Next, we're going to have to create a new class. Right-click on your main package and go up to New Class. We are going to name this class Game, and we'll put it in our main package. There we go. Now, the Game class is going to be the main class, the main part of our game. It will hold all of the base code for our game. It'll start everything, it'll run everything, and it'll close our, our game. So this game is very important. It's going to be the main class of our game. We're going to put a lot of stuff in this class. So let's go ahead and create the game constructor here. And our game is going to need an instance of our display class here. So we'll create a private display object called display. And then we have to initialize our display in our game constructor. Display equals new display. Now, our display class takes in a title, a width, and a height, so we'll take those in as parameters in our game constructor as well. Width and height, and we'll just pass those right along to our display. There we go. So now, whenever we create a new game instance, a new game class instance, 
it'll automatically set a display for itself to have. Now, I'm also going to create a few public integers at the top here, width and height, and I am just going to set those to the two parameters that we passed in here, that way this class also has access to the width and height easily. So this dot width equals width, and this dot height equals height. So now whenever we create a new game like that, it should set the width and height variables up here, then initialize a new display, and hopefully get a display to the screen. So. If you go into your launcher class, instead of have a new display, we'll create a new game instance, and we'll pass in our game title. Mine will be tile game, and then the width and height that you want it. I'll make mine 400 by 400. There we go. That should do it. Go ahead and run your new launcher class. That'll create a new game object, and look, we still have a window displayed to the screen. It's the size that I gave it. It has a title that I gave it. Everything works the same. It'll have the canvas in it. The only thing that's different is that we're running it from our game class. In the next tutorial, we're going to add much more to this game class and hopefully get graphics to the screen in the next couple of tutorials. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.